Good afternoon, folks. Heading down to the old honey hole dig site here today. What a beautiful afternoon. Check out those clouds. What a sky, eh? So I got a bit of bushwhacking to do to get down through there. But uh, hopefully, once we get down in there, it shouldn't be too bad. It should be a fairly easy going. I've got a pretty good hole already started there, so I haven't been to it in a while, but still should be all right. We'll get you back up once I get there. If we uh, come across anything worth showing. Other than this beautiful day. Okay, later. Well, one bottle just went there, folks. You can see it down there. It's cobalt blue. I already picked it up and checked it out. It was upside down. I thought it was just a slicker. But, it's another one of those uh, big Genuine Phillips Milk and Magnesia Tablets bottle. This is only the second tablets bottle I found of that size. Normally they're small. The ones I find they're real small. And the tablets bottles aren't don't seem to be nearly as common as just your regular milk and mag bottles. That's for sure. So this is a nice one to get. Looks to be in good condition. Yep, yeah, thought it had a crack there for a second, but it doesn't. There we go. Okay, got another find in the hole, folks. Boy, you can never smell the apples down here. Check this out. It's a big glass needle. Some sort of syringe. I'm more impressed with the fact that it's not broke. That's pretty cool. Let me get it out in the light here. It's got a pinky shoe to it. It might be whatever was in it though. It's got some writing on it. Genuine Jenna glass. Check it out. Toronto, Montreal. I might be able to get some info off that. J.F. Hartz Company. Made in Germany. Yeah, neato. That's a pretty good find. What are the odds of that not breaking? Cool beans. Let's keep going. Ha <laughs> ha Bottle in the hole, folks. Bottle in the hole. It's not a cork top, but it's still kind of neat. So let's check this out. It's two fluid ounce one. No, one one fluid ounce. Not very impressed so far, eh? Still got the label on it. Purity essence. Lemon. Jeez. That's pretty cool. Wow. I'm uh, actually quite happy with that find. Check that out. I wonder how good I can get that cleaned up without ruining the label. Man, oh man. That's pretty neat. Looks to be a... I don't think that's a paper label. I think that's ACL. Cool. Okay, I'll have to get a picture of it for sure. Later. Check it out. Getting some interesting finds down here tonight, if nothing else, folks. Check this out, it just come out. Some sort of metal box. It says Ever Ready on it ever ready like the battery looks like it opens up let me get out in the light here a little bit better whoa nearly fell there's something in it could just be dirt anyways i'm going to shut you off for now and get you set up and i'm going to try to open this on 
on the camera. Okay, so let me see what we can do here. Looks like a latch right here. Oh, well, I just broke it. Doesn't look like anything. No, uh, no coins or anything in it. What? You never know. Always good to open these up, check them out. I'm going to keep that just the same and uh, see if I can find anything online about it. Kind of a neat item. So here's just a few I've accumulated in the past 15 minutes, folks. This little amber one come out, cork top. It looks like it is machine made though. That's a nice tiny little bottle. Like a sample size, something. Nice big blue one there. That bromo or whatever it is there. Yeah, I think it's yeah, bromo seltzer. Weak embossing down around the shoulder. And this old blown one here, but the lips chipped up on it. Doesn't look to be manganese glass either, so not really worth hanging on to. Does look to be an old one though. So I'll keep going. Okay, folks, first time I got one of these, recognize this little tin. Let's get focused on it. I believe it's from like the 1920s. Three Merry Widows. That's a condom tin. <laughs> I've seen other people begging, but that's the first time I got one. That's pretty cool. Neat little find. Three Merry Widows. All right, let's keep on digging. <laughs> Okay, I got a big bottle in the hole down here, folks. I can see the next broke off it, but I'm gonna get it up anyways when I pull it out. And there's another smaller one right here. Let me get this one here first. Okay. It's just a slicker. It's like an old one though. Is it blown? No, machine made. This is the one I can see it's embossed. Was a, a Whittle and McKay Glasgow bottle. WM. This is a blown one too. I just dug a machine made one not too long ago at a different dump. Geez, that would have been sweet to get that hole. Oh well, let's keep going. Okay folks. Got another bottle in the hole. Almost scooped it up and huffed it down over the bank. Right there. Blown in a mold. Tooled lip, I'd say. Check it out. Ruby foam for the teeth. Lowell, Massachusetts. Cool. A nice little bottle. Hard to see the embossing on it, but nice. I've only ever seen a shard in this area of that, so that's a nice find for me. Okay, keep on going. Okay, we got the base of some sort of liquor bottle sticking out. Let's go down in the hole and check it out. Ugh. Here's the top of something. Anyways, here it is right here. No idea if it's whole or not, but it feels loose enough to come out. Yeah, no, it's definitely not whole. Looks like a nice spin mold bottle though. You can see a ring around the side of it here. Where it looks like it had been spun. See that? All right, let's keep going. Yeah, I got the base to another one sticking out. Let's get down in here. There you go, right up in there. This is right in that 
same general area where that older glass has been coming out. So it's kind of like I'm in a little pocket or something here. Let's pull this one out. Huh. Oh man, it is embossed. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's a druggist bottle. It's a druggist bottle. Oh. It's a it's a fry druggist bottle from Portland, Maine. Cool, cool, cool. Trying to see if it's blown. I think I'm pretty sure it is. Yep. Awesome. Nice find. <laughs> Glad I come out tonight. Things are looking way up here now. Well, I'm on my way out of here now, folks. You can see why it smells like apples down here. Lots of apple trees around. Here's why the deer like this area, too. Boy, they smell good. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Got a red there. Go home and have myself a nice big steak. Maybe even crack open a beer. See you on the cleanup. Good day, viewers. Hope everybody's doing well today. Thanks for joining me here for the uh, digging recap portion of the video. This one uh, was another dig down at the old faithful honey hole, and there's always some interesting stuff coming out of that place. Uh, first off, though, I got a question, which is, who can drink five gallons of gas and not get sick? And the answer is, Jerry can. <laughs> uh, I know, folks. <laughs> please don't unsub. Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> It's a bad one. Okay, so hopping right into the finds here. We got this one here, which is a nice uh, Milk of Magnesia tablets bottle. I don't find many of these. I think this is only like the third one I found. Uh, no, maybe only the second one of this size. This is a big size. Usually they're, uh, they're tiny ones. But this is a nice, nice good size one. Not very common, at least not around here. And uh, next is this beautiful fried druggist bottle from Portland, Maine. Check that out. First time I've dug one of these. I did actually buy one one time, but this is the first time I've dug one. And it is blown with a lovely tooled lip. There it is. GOC Fry Portland, Maine. And uh, next we got the old ruby foam for the teeth. Put up by E.W. Hoyt and Company, Lowell, Massachusetts. And this is also a blown in a mold bottle with a tooled lip. First time I found one of these as well. I only ever found a shard of one of these, so I was happy to find that one too. And next we just got this... Uh, Slick little amber bottle. It's probably like a sample size liquor bottle, I'm sure. Nice little amber one, though. And then another just cobalt blue bromo. These are really common. But uh, there that is. And next is this Ever Ready box. And I can only assume that this was some sort of battery box for something or other. No idea what it would have been for, but it does say Ever Ready on it, and it's pretty crusty, and there's a piece just fell off it right there, so that will be going into the trash. And next up is another uh, crusty thing here and this is the Three Merry Widows 1920s condom tin can't quite make out what this other lettering is down here Agnes something anyways Three Merry Widows 
You see people uh, dig these up once in a while on YouTube. It was a first for me. Fun little find. A glass hypodermic needle. Genuine Jenna glass. G-E-N-A. Turns out I believe this was from the 30s. Would have had a metal needle on the tip of it. And this shard I kept just because I wanted to look up the uh, company name on the bottom. And it's uh, Evan Sons Lesher and Webb Limited, Liverpool, London. And they were known, uh, they were manufacturers of chemicals. So they got drugs and pharmaceuticals and toilet preparations, uh, vaccines, pills, tablets, etc. That sort of thing. Mason jar lid. Nothing too spectacular there, but it's got a nice little aqua blue color to it. Pure uh, essence of pure. See, now I lost the lettering off this. Lemon. Yes, it was essence of pure lemon. The label was in much better condition when I first dug it up, but a lot of it come off. I did spray some varathane over it to kind of hold it on there, what's left of it. So that was kind of neat. And it's, uh, you can see on the back here, contents one fluid ounce. Neat little bottle. Neat to see what's in those. And then I also dug this here little thing up. This is a Carter's own. It's got the lid on it. Uh, side embossed Montreal there, or edge embossed, I guess rather. I'm not sure the date on that, maybe from the 40s. So, anyways, that's it for uh, that round there, folks. Hope you enjoyed the dig and the clean up, and hope everybody uh, tunes in for the next video. So, thanks for watching. Stay healthy. We'll see you all later, folks. Over and out.